Bebo. Morning all. Yeah, you know, Webby Sports Roundup here in sunny Tenerife on a Thursday morning. It's about 24, 25 degrees. Doing a bit of a special just for two, three, four minutes. Just to get it out of the way. Right. As we all know, it's quarterfinals at the Carabao Cup this week. We have three quarterfinals on Tuesday. And well done to the Borough, to Fulham and to Chelsea. And they were looking to see who was going to be in the fourth spot. And it was Liverpool taking on West Ham. And to be honest with you, Liverpool give hammers. West Ham United, a bit of an hammering. Goalie was awful. Didn't play very well. There was never, ever in the game. So it ended up Liverpool 5, West Ham 1. And the draw took place straight after. And the draw was good to all of them, to be honest with you. It's a two-legged affair. Uh, the first leg is on the 8th of January. The second one is on the 21st of January. And the aggregate of each game, obviously, whoever goes through to the final. So Liverpool take on Fulham and Middlesbrough take on Chelsea. And as I say, two-legged affairs. And the final is at Wembley on the 25th of February. So good luck to all the boys there who follow Liverpool. Again, West Ham, sorry. Just wasn't it? I was it three or two last night, and that was there was quite a lot of West Ham fans, and I was disappointed. As one or two left, they did the fire alarm must have started early, and they left. It wasn't very very clever, right? If you follow Scottish football as I do, Rangers, Celtic, all the big boys, your Hibbies, your Jambos, etc. Um, massive game last night in the SPL League. Rangers are five points behind Celtic, two games in hand, and they took the one last night, the rubber, and they took on St. Johnson. They beat them by two goals to nil. Wasn't very convincing, to be honest with you. St. Johnson had a player sent off in the 33rd minute. Rangers scored in the first, in the 28th minute, and the captain, Tavernier, scored a penalty in the 85th minute. He is rock solid. I think he could even go to a big, big, if, if there is a bigger club um, of, of Rangers, but not in Scotland, that's for sure. Uh, so one into Rangers. That puts him now only two points behind with a game in hand. And the big one is at Celtic Park, 12.30 on Saturday the 30th, which is like nine days' time. Before then, they've got a couple more games. Celtic on Saturday are taking on Livingston, bottom of the table, three o'clock. And Motherwell away at, they're playing home, sorry, to Rangers on Sunday, 12 o'clock. So if they both win their respective games, that still keeps them two points behind Celtic. But Celtic are, I don't know, I don't know what's happening. Something's happening at the club at the moment and it's not good for them. But Rangers, I've got some great, great pals of mine in the village, as you know. You know, Paul Stewart, Big John from Kilsyth the Butcher. Don't forget, get your discount from him if you pop in and say Webby Sports Roundup and a good pal of mine. Uh, big Jim, Big Jim Donaldson, Dave and Jenny from Rangers. They're over here at Christmas. Lovely. Can't wait to see them. So making it a great season for Rangers Football Club. Right. I've done that. Let's move on very, very quickly. I've got a bit of a blog uh, later on this afternoon. going to come out at um, probably five o'clock is give or take. And that's going to be all the forthcoming fixtures of the next few days. What we just predictions from me, uh, Terry, my number two, and Smithy, my number six. Now, my weekly sports roundup is again tomorrow. It's a big Christmas special one. Shout outs. I've got a lot of shout outs. Now, if anybody wants a shout out, they got friends, family over in Australia, Canada, or America, and they want to wish a Merry Christmas, or even in England, wherever you are, just do a comment, please. Make a comment below, and I will do exactly what I can, uh, what I can tomorrow's show. And also, uh, I've asked Foggy to put it on my Facebook page. So if, if you want to put a, a message on Facebook page uh, with Webby Sports Roundup, then please do. And if you haven't joined the Facebook page, please do, because... Foggy needs some love. He's out in January the 22nd. I'm looking forward to seeing him. We're going to have some great show, but he's going to come on the show a few times. Um, you're going to love him. Absolutely love him. So please do that. Now, tomorrow, don't forget, we've also got Rugby Union European uh, Cup games of last weekend. It's the Paddy Power World Darts Finals this week. Last week started and coming on this weekend. Some big, big players in and one or two big players have gone out already. Johnny Goggles is doing his big boxing review for Saturday. Anthony Joshua, is he going to start back winning form again? So two massive fights. So stay tuned in for that, for uh, Johnny Goggles' boxing preview. We've also got Chris Todd City, Tenerife. They've had two games this week, so I'm not going to say the results. You'll have to find out and watch that tomorrow on my Webby Sports special Friday uh, round out. Round up, sorry. On top of that, we've got the cricket, T20. West Indies taking on England. Over there in uh, Trinidad and Tobago, over in, in the Ind West Indies, five uh, five games. 
and it's 2 2 at the moment, okay? West Indies were 2 0 up, we've drawn 2 2. Sort has got two back to back centuries, so one and sorted boy. And on top of that, it's the final, the last one today. So who's going to win the series by 3-2? Fingers crossed, it's England. And on top of that, we've got Wrexham. Gray, a big Wrexham fan. Home and away, goes everywhere. He loves it. Loves it. He's already done two or three vlogs for me this, um, this last few months. I've asked her to do a Christmas one for me, which she's going to do. And that's going to be out tomorrow. To the state of play of Wrexham Football Club, how they're getting on in the league, and so on and so forth. So... Look forward to that tomorrow. On top of that, Snooker Scottish Open was last week. I'll give you the winners for that later on. And also we'll be talking about my two non-league football clubs, Hendon and Chatham Town. Chatham, a big pal of mine, Talca, used to live over here. He follows them everywhere. And as you know, Ian Allinson and his son Lee is the manager there at Hendon Football Club. They had a couple of results this week, so you can follow them sometime tomorrow night. So don't forget, any shout outs, Comments below and please go on the Facebook page and give Foggy some love. So all I'm going to say now is, as I always do, don't forget we've got the vlog coming up a bit later. My Webby Sports Roundup tomorrow. Give Foggy some love. That's all I'm going to do. Right, as I say, if you like what you hear and you like what you see, subscribe. It costs you nothing. It is free. Press that button and that little ding thing, whatever we do, uh, as Tim tells me. And enjoy yourself that's what it's all for any comments down below facebook page all that sort of stuff bosh have it right from sunny tenerife in my manor in kyle from webby sports roundup from me to you a massive massive merry merry christmas and don't forget remember the people that we have lost this year okay that's all you got to do remember them and i will do a couple of mentions in tomorrow's show okay so rest in peace boys and girls and i'll see you very very soon from me webby i'll see you later on gonna go down and press the button there. bye y'all